Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Nostalgia Critique. I'm Mark. And I'm Matt. And today, we guess we're going to talk about a special game. Uh, whoever brings it in. Uh, do you have someone coming in with the game? Oh, my God. Yeah, I think someone... I saw something? someone walk in, for oh, sure. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, how you doing, sir? How, how's everything? Holy crap. What, what, yeah. What's what you going got? down? What you got? Yeah, what do we got for us today? I a lot in child support, so... Damn, I'm dude. On this. Ugh. Smooth million. Ooh, this is a good game. Wow. Check this out. Holy shit. It's Mario <laughs> Super Mario 64. Wow. Did you say uh, sweet million? Sweet million. <laughs> sweet million. Yeah. Well, there's no way we're giving a guy a mill for a copy of I'll Super Mario. It. Why not? I mean, he needs child support. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> and it's a good game. I haven't played this game in a while. Like, I don't know. Like, this has been like a long time since I played this game when I was a kid. I like that the rating is Ka. Ka? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the KA on it. Oh, my God. Kids to adults. <clears throat> oh, yeah. All right. So, um, wait, wait, do you know anything about this game? Like, do you remember playing this as a kid? Or, yeah. Like, any memories of it? Or? I used to play this game all the time as a kid. I remember some of the challenges getting some of the stars were a little difficult while I was younger. But the ultimate thing I enjoyed doing while but at the start screen of the game was playing with Mario's face. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Just like I think it was like I, I actually it was like the first uh, one of the first launch games for the uh, N64. It was actually for North America, so they had Super Mario 64 and a Pal Wayne 64 as well. Uh, launched in like September uh, 29th, I believe, Dang. 1996. And I remember as a kid, like when you go into the start screen, you see Mario's face, you just play with it. You can like stretch it out, make like, you know, just all weird stuff. And to be completely honest, <clears throat> I'm, I'm fairly confident. I spent more time stretching Mario's face than I yeah. did playing the game. 100%. It was fun. <clears throat> Especially as a kid, I agree. That was just like so much fun. I don't think I, I think I played maybe like maybe an hour or two, stretched his face. And I started like, oh, okay, I guess it's time to play the actual game. I think if Nintendo released a VR version of that, where you had boxing gloves. Oh man. And you could just punch Mario's <laughs> oh my God. face. And it would just return back to normal no matter like how fucking busted <laughs> he is. Like, bah! It's like his nose his pops off. off. <laughs> I would yeah. like it if it was like Mario, like in the movie Jackass, where he shoves his nuts through a little hole <laughs> and then you use some of as a punching Wait, game. wait, spoiler alert. Wait, spoiler alert. <laughs> That's for the spoiler for the new movie. Oh shit, come sorry. On, come on. <laughs> God knows, I mean, <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, it came out about at least a month ago, but still. <laughs> like, people still probably watch it in theaters. Matt, um, are you... I'm sorry, Matt. Are you wearing the right uniform? Yeah. <laughs> so what? I put on a little weight. Whatever. Big whoop. You're trying to keep compete with me, I guess? Is that what? It? No. I, what are you talking about? Surprised enough, this was released in Japan a few months earlier. Damn. But Europe didn't get it till like, 1997, like in March or whatever. It was... That's crazy. I yeah, it was... That. It's crazy that they waited so long to get it, but... <laughs> It sucks <clears throat> that America gets it before Europe, and Europe is what a little bit close. To well, things are a little better now, but back then it was like it was it was different. Um, but um, basically, the, the plot of the story was, I guess, it was a pretty crazy story, you know. Um, yeah, she's like Mario, come to my castle. Yeah, she baked him a cake and stuff. Yeah. Mario gets so it's excited. It's your birthday party. He's he, like, oh my god. Yeah, no, exactly. It's my birthday. He wants to go there. He wants to check out the castle and stuff. And all of a sudden, like, nope, Bowser took over. <laughs> like, Left kidnapped, up. kidnapped all, kidnapped the princess again, and like took all <laughs> yeah. the servants in there and hid him behind doors. I guess so. Mario had to rescue them by collecting stuck power stars. Um, yeah. Seventy to be exact. And so. then at the end of the game, he finally gets his birthday witch, and he gets to <laughs> pull up her dress and look at the peach fuzz. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just a big old peach inside the dress. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, that was in the um, R-rated version. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's when they re-released on the three. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. On, on the Switch version, maybe. Um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they had like, so basically you had to beat the game, I think, by collecting 70 power stars. Yep. And getting to the end, you got to defeat Bowser. And, you know, if you want, I mean, in total, it's 120 stars, though. That, yeah. That's the crazy thing. So and then you unlock Yoshi for 100 well, lives. Exactly. Exactly. So basically what happens, you get 120 stars. Spoiler alert, I yeah. guess, for a like a 25-year-old game, I guess. Or no, 35. Oh, my God. I'm getting old. Yeah. Oh, how old? Yeah. Jesus. Um, anyway, spoiler alert. <laughs> anyway, so you get 120 stars, you go to the castle, and basically there's a cannon that pops up. You fly to the uh, top of the um, castle, and you see Yoshi there. He'll give you 100 lives. He'll lock a special uh, power up move that basically you get a triple jump. And um, basically, when you do that triple jump, you get like stars flying, like, you know, behind what? you. Like, a little, yeah. 
<laughs> I always like the level where I, you're just shooting around in the cannons all the time and everything. I thought that was yeah, the, so the first fun. level. Yeah, why she only have the cannons though? <laughs> yeah, they had a lot of levels with cannons in them. I like the levels with the little wings where you got Ooh, the, little the wing cap. Yeah, yeah. Or you could. That was one of the, that was one of the cool powers they had. The, the, the wing cap, the metal cap, the yeah. uh, what's it called? The vanish cap, I think it's called. Yeah. Which where you turn into like little pixels and you're able to walk through the yep. mesh bars. Yeah. Yep, and no one can hurt you. But turn to pixelated bukkake. Another interesting fact of the 120 stars too, which I didn't know like till a few years ago too, was that if you get 120 stars, you go back to like the uh, the ice place where you race the penguin, the cool cool mountain, I think it's called. Mm. And the penguin that you race there actually gets bigger. Damn. Oh yeah. So he's actually, a lot no, harder. I, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. He's a lot yeah. harder. Does it bore you? Um, if you're into <laughs> that, yeah. Probably because cool. you know you murder its kid. Oh Did my you God. do that when you no, were young? No, I Thro never threw you the never penguin threw the off the thing, level. Man. No. Wait, you never threw the penguin off the no. level? No. I was wondering because really I love that. I was like, it's a penguin. I was so happy to have the little penguin. Yeah, that was so dis uh, sadistic back then, throwing the pig off the cliff maybe a couple of times. Just, just drop it. Like, hmm, there dumb we go. Ass, I guess I was just an asshole with that. No, stuff, I so. did it all the time. I did it all the oh, time. Oh, I did it too. I was saying I did it as well. <laughs> um, I was like, how many courses? Like maybe 12. Is it 12 courses? Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 courses. But basically each uh, level has like you collect uh, a certain amount of power stars. But yeah. there's also like, you know. The red coins. If you collect all the red coins. Mm -hmm. the, well, that's it. Oh, coins. That's well, gold coins in general. Well, if, you get coins. if you get like 100 gold coins, and then I, you get a star. Yeah, I didn't know about that either until like really? recently. Yeah, I didn't know. Because I, I, I never. So I never beat the game as a kid. Wow. I did technically took someone else's save file and beat the last level. That's but so I never funny. collected the stars. So wow, jeez. Um, but then I started playing recently, and like you know, I found. Turns out you have to collect. You can have to collect a hundred coins each level to get another star too. I it actually I, I didn't know that either. And really? I, oh, see, there you no, go. No, 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 I, I, I never that. beat the game with mm. all the stars at all. Definitely. I finally mm. did that a couple years ago. Like I was like, you know, want to get it all done. It actually is a little bit. The later levels got really challenging, but it's still a fun game. I think it. Kind of holds up to this day. But how did you feel with those three jumps after you got all those stars? And no fall damage. What I you did, also got every star? Yeah, I got 120 stars, yeah. And the one <laughs> thing that I really wow. enjoyed doing was Fucked going into the mushroom it. level and then letting the little monkey steal my hat. Oh. And then I'd be happy. Oh, that was another Mario. thing, too. Yeah, well... So you actually lose your hat a couple of times too. Like you, yeah, the wind can blow off yep, of it. Blows it off. So I and also like if you get hit, it's like double damage, which is crazy. Like oh, like, I never noticed that. Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. No yeah. wonder why the game would be harder. I'd be fucking around, <laughs> bopping around without a hat half the game. Exactly. I was but, like, uh, wow, he's got a head. No, that, I same because you're like, oh, it's cool. It's something different. The character yeah. model changed. You know. So another thing too, I guess it um, interesting like thing like you like you know, obviously like. Basically, you start off in the whole castle. Like you can roam around, go to different rooms. You can pick your own level. So it's not like it's not as linear as it was with the, um, you know, the two D game. So this yeah. is like the first three game. I guess they want to do something different. So you can walk around the castle, go in one world. Okay, you got a couple stars. Great. You can go in another world, get another couple stars. Great. Mm -hmm. um, but you're saying that, and in my head, I could literally hear that. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like fucking this game is so engraved in my brain, dude. Divided by three sections too. The uh there's <laughs> like it's three different Bowser's, like you face him three times. Yeah. Um there's like the uh the main place, yeah. the basement, and the upstairs room afterwards mm -hmm. with the with the endless stairs. You guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. If you don't have like seventy stars, then that's it. You can't make it to the top of the stairs. Well, yeah, you there's can. also that, there's that butt jump. Yeah. Part. The long, I think it's called the long <laughs> jump, I think it's called, like that speedrunners use. Yeah. To like beat the game. You can actually beat the game with with no stars. Wow. No stars, one star, uh, 16 stars, I think, is like the categories they have. So we can technically beat the game without like getting a star, which That's is like, crazy. insane. Mm -hmm. Damn. You know how hard he works to like fucking save Princess Peach, collect these stars? Bowser's like a super heavy programmer that he's able to lock doors based on star count. Yeah. If stars less than 50 door just not open. <laughs> like he's out here Denied. fucking doing crazy shit. And then oh, Mario, Bowser. literally uh, a week later, he goes to Princess Peach's house and she's like, I'm having a party and the reward is stars. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, That's because he works with ADT. That's crazy though. Do you guys remember anything like like do you guys have like a favorite uh, level, core, star, anything like that? Or <laughs> there's not a the whole underwater bunch. level. Really, I love the underwater <laughs> level. <laughs> so that's that, your least favorite. <laughs> then you have the giant eel in there and everything, or the moray eel. I think what was that level? That was like the second underwater level. That was like um, 
with uh, Bowser subbing or something like that. That was like before mm-hmm. the Bowser in the Fire red scene or something like that. Then yeah. Sometimes Mario will drown and be like, <laughs> yeah, he'll die that horrible death. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I, I, that, it's that, great that, little, that little fucking guy that kills you in that level that goes like, Forgot what he what he wait, is. Wait, 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 which level is that? In, in that level with all the springs and shit, and you're bouncing off the walls, and you're going up, and it's a lot of water. In that oh, level. the one where you could adjust the water level. Yes. Oh, that yeah. one. Fuck. You're that talking about the the floating water bugs. Yeah, those fuckers that always just fucking knock you or back the and flippy things. Yeah, yeah, and they just fucking destroy you. They put you in the wrong direction. Yeah. You have to time so, shit. I mean, okay. If you're speaking of uh, least favorite levels or least favorite star, my personal, like, I really hated the. Uh, the rainbow sky one, like when you're in the sky. Oh yeah, that so was I mean, so there's fuck. two different ones. Like I hate the the, the red and clock one. world. Is it the, that one's not bad. Like the the one like where you take on go on the um the, the carpet or whatever it is, you go like up. Yeah, upwards. no, I, that one's you in the same spot. Yeah, that's like the worst star. I think I had trouble getting the most. Wow. You had to get a hundred coins, and wow. again, that was a, such a pain in the yeah. ass. It was like, that and it was, was like and the, way, the way to actually get it done was to like, get like these blue coins, and it's like yep. really time yeah, limited. Five, so. because they're worth five coins getting the blue coins, and that was like the worst. I think that was like the worst star right by far. When I played it, like when I tried to play it twice, it was like did not like that at all. Everything else wasn't as bad. It was you know, man. So Mark, did you get scared by the piano in the haunted level? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. That was the scariest <laughs> shit as a cop, yeah. as a kid. Like, like just going here and like, and I, I think the first time I saw him, I, I, I think I, sh- I think I shit myself. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. That was insane. That was. What about you, Alex? How, how did you? Uh, yeah, that was like watching The Shining as a child. It's like, oh no, it's gonna. Yeah. Do, 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 do. yeah. It's and like the fucking thing starts chomping at you. You're like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, insane. But um, but I feel like when you could finally get past it, there's also that feeling of, of accomplishment. You're like, yeah. Yeah, because there was one room where the fuck. piano didn't do that. <laughs> Is there? Yeah, I swear there's like a couple of, there's like one other room with a piano. And that one, that piano is normal. And then the other one had the piano that you're like, oh, this isn't going to do anything. And then it starts chomping at you. I don't remember. I, you know, I don't recall that. Damn, I actually. Yeah, I, I just remember that. being able to sneak by it later. And then the piano was just like, yes. yes. Always yeah. like the piranha plant f- song that plays when it's mm-hmm. asleep. Mm-hmm. I yeah, would just yeah. like crouch by and listen to it yeah. for a while. And I'd be like, ah, oh, this is nice. Um, this I game pop is it in the face. Bro. Yeah, so so, what favorite levels? Everyone's favorite is what? Uh, you know, honestly, my favorite is like Thromp's uh, Fortress. I think I really like that level, especially like you know, like the boss was fun in that level. Um, just like climb to the top and stuff. I think it was like you know, it wasn't like it was it was. I had the most fun in that level. I think. I, <sighs> I mean, there's so many. I played all of them a ton of times. I really like them all, but I always like the Lol and Big World. That one where you could jump in a pipe and then turn big or jump in a pipe and yeah, then go small. Fun. Because I always liked it from like Super Mario 3. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, my favorite was the, the penguin level. I <laughs> did, did that Throwing sliding penguin? race so oh. many times even <laughs> after I got the star, dude. Mm-hmm. I used to love and like I would jump off the ramp to get <laughs> down quicker. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Yeah. That, that level was playing that so though, playing that after like like how many years? Like like I said, I played it recently and like those slides are not forgiven. I would <laughs> no, fall off no. all the time. It was, yeah, it was not that. <laughs> Especially the later <laughs> no, slides. So upset, dude. You're like, not that. No, not slide. again. <laughs> That's what? There was like three different slide levels, too? I think two. Because mm-hmm. then there was that one that was really, really um, long, and that one I've actually, flown off a couple of times. There, there were three sliding levels. I oh, thought shit, so. Man, the so there, one? Was, there was one from Peach's slide, and, uh, secret slide or whatever. Yeah, where you jump in her painting. Yeah. Yes. Well, stained then, glass. Well, the stained glass. Yeah. yeah. The, glass. Uh, the second one was the uh, uh, the the cool cool mountain one with the rear weights of penguin. Yep. Yeah. And the other one was like uh, a later well, level. I forgot the name of the, the place, but it's like the way you like you climb with the mountain, like high mountain top, or whatever yeah. it was called. Uh, it was one of the later ones, and there's like a secret one too. And that was when I played the first time. I think I had trouble with that too. I would die a lot. And, was that the mushroom one? The one that? Had, yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. yep, yeah. That's it. Yep. The one with the monkey that steals your hand. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> We're the back one to the head. You have monkey. to walk into the mountain wall. So another thing too, do you guys remember the rumor about Luigi being the game or no? Yeah, I remember hearing the rumor about so, it, but yep. I couldn't find it. Yeah, I remember like playing as a kid, like I was always trying to get Luigi, but you couldn't lock him for some reason. And um, there's like a statue, I think, in the courtyard of the castle, and it says, and it actually says if you actually try to look at it, apparently it says. 
L is real. 2041, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Wait, what? Yeah. There's a date What's on that it? predicting? So, no, the 2041, it's not actually a date. People thought it was actually the amount of coins you collected. So, the actually amount of coins that was total in the game was 2090. Was 2090. So, if you apparently the rumor was you collected 2041, like 20, 2041 coins, you would unlock him. But that was proven false. But an interesting fact, though, there was a big uh, giga, I think it was like a, some big leak that happened a few years ago with Nintendo mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and yeah. like their internal files. And, and like one of the earlier builds of the game, um, you can add, Luigi assets and stuff like that were actually founded on the uh, mm -hmm. thing. Wow, Damn. holy shit. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. People actually modded to have the uh, um, to play as Luigi. It actually, crazy. it looks like Mario, I think, and like just That's so funny. just green color, I guess. I don't know. I'm colorblind, so I guess uh, it's green. No, well, yeah, I think they probably would have just been the same as Smash Brothers. Just slap them with a different. Exactly. Color. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was that was interesting. I, I found it like two years ago. I was like, this is pretty cool. Like, mm -hmm. shame they never had it, but whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. What I was hoping when Louis when uh, Yoshi would pop up at the end of the game if he mm -hmm. got all the stars was that you got to ride him. Oh, that was my favorite yeah. thing about Super Mario World. You know, I never got the luxury of actually locking Luigi oh. at the end. Because um, I was not good at games. Yeah, I was like, so. not good at, like, I guess, completing games back then. So yeah. when I tried playing again, it was it was pretty cool, like, finally getting him at the, at the end of the game. So, Alex, have you ever, um, you know, got the chance to unlock, get 120 no, stars? No, no, I didn't do the 120 stars. The only mm. time I, I did... Uh, even beat the game fully and actually get to enjoy it was on the 3DS. No, oh. no, the the DS version. Yeah, the DS version. Wait, I think I have the cups in your home. Which I, Whoa. I actually. So here's oh, the we thing. We have it in stock. We I actually stock. right here. Holy crap! The, wow. Yep. This is actually a really good. Uh, this is one of the actually like the only time they actually remade the game. Yeah. And honestly, it's a really good remake. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't put it in. Oh, actually, I think I have this one here too. That's actually. Ooh, that's really I, I feel one. like yeah. Yeah, Not to be one. like a fucking a nosy Nelly or a nasty yeah. bassy, but that's my preferred version of the game. I, you version. know, honestly, it's a better version. Like, hey, you can play so many characters. Plus, they have the multiplayer on it. They have multiplayer. Yeah, the, yeah. the graphics were improved. New areas. They have more stars to collect and yep. stuff. It's uh, and honestly, you can play as the four characters. Yep. You have to play as Linguini. You could play as War. Yeah, I love Wario, playing as Linguini. Luigi, <laughs> and Yoshi too, as long as yep. with Mario. So. Like Mario's cool, he's hot shit and all, but I prefer Luigi, man. Just gotta say, just gotta yeah, because you're the younger brother, right? Wait, actually, is, is Luigi no? Luigi's the older brother, right? Luigi, I thought so. Actually, I think he's the older brother. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I, I thought Mario Luigi. was older. He's the smaller, yeah, shorter, but older. I don't know. God damn, I, I have know. to like Google that stuff. I guess later, but yeah. I always like Lu I like that they threw Wario in there. Like, what's he gonna do after yeah, he gets yeah. the? Princess saved. I'm a gonna quim. <laughs> well, I think I think actually so. That's a my princess now. If we're going into like this DS for a second, I think like when you first play the game too, you play as I think Yoshi, and you lock characters along the way too. Yep. So you lock yes, you sir. have to unlock Mario, Luigi, Wario. I think, but um, yeah, they actually represent the all different the stats well too. too. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. I, like that's what I say. Like I think it's a preferred version. I wish they include that in the uh, 3D All Stars, which yeah. is another. Dude, release. I agree. I agree. Um, or whatever. Like I was surprised they they just ported the games and mm. just like low key. I like Ocarina on the 3DS with the stick and. I agree. Yes, yeah, so I was, that was another thing I like too more. It's another yeah. game. I really like. Uh, well, that that's another. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. We shouldn't go to it. I like, just like the way it controls better mm. as a re-release. You mm -hmm. know? I just it's like it. how Dead Hand looks. <laughs> like, it looks more like a zombie in the uh, in the N64 version. Yeah, totally. Let's have a jelly. Uh, let's go to a quick ad break and then we'll talk some more about this fucking oh game. God. God. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry to wait you, sir. Like, you gotta wait a little longer to give you yeah. the value of the game. Yeah. Sorry. You gotta listen to us speak about an advertisement. <laughs> uh -huh. We gotta fund this store somehow. Oh, see you in a bit. Bye. Yep. Hey, guys. Uh, how come you guys don't have a cool chair like me? I don't know. Because my ass Ugh. is stinky. They I don't, don't think that's enough here. Yeah, I heard the manager can't. Can't uh, afford two chairs for the front. He said something about being uncomfortable. Unfortunately, it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. They want us to keep our exercise. I want a better chair than this, though. The boss wants you to keep your exercise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you keep the up fuck, exercise. dude. <laughs> and he give you a tight shirt to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that way I feel really, really out of shape. That way he tries and he calls me a little piggy. I need to talk to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you get better chairs? Like, or like, do you have any yeah. idea? Like, yeah, I'm mine has like those pigeon spikes on it. 
You, what the frick? That's bad. <laughs> oh, it must be nice. Mine's like has nothing under it. So. Yeah, well, this chair, I'm actually able to move these up and down, back and forth, all the what sides. What the heck? I can move it slide to slide. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's super impressive. Dang. If you guys, uh, anyone who wants to, spacesandboy.com slash vertigear. Uh, you can check out that store, check out all the different chairs they have. They have the P-Line, S-Line, Trigger Line. So many different colors, so many different choices. All good chairs. This is a nice chair, too. God damn, I want to send that right now. Is the P-Line extra absorbent? <laughs> I wanted to hold that on you as long as possible. <laughs> what was that question? Is the P-Line extra absorbent? They're all super absorbent, <laughs> except for not sweat. They're not does not does not absorb sweat. Sweat falls off it like ketchup when you spray that thing and throw ketchup on the shirt. Mm. That's true. I did throw shit on before and came off. God damn. Mm. <laughs> and, and I heard that we have some kind of connect with Fortnite. Something's going on with Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. So like, I guess I don't know. Like, especially someone who like likes to buy like the levels. I guess like to use. Who the, would do uh, that? I don't know. Someone likes to do that, but. If, if you do decide to buy your levels, you should use credit code <laughs> Space Zamboni. Wow. And you can help support us, you know? And, oh my God. And you'll know, level up and help support your favorite creators, I guess. Does, yeah. at it. Does that mean I could get every different variant of the Spider Man costume, maybe? If you buy your, your levels, I did. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if you buy your levels, like a certain someone, so. Yeah, Holy so crap. Uh, the cool thing is if you use uh, creator code Space Zamboni when checking out in Fortnite. Anything that you spend V Bucks on, it helps us and it helps the channel. So, uh, much love to you guys. Uh, Super Mario Shindo Pattaio Virgin. <laughs> Matt, what just happened over there? Huh? I was reading that. Oh, reading what? The re released in Japan on oh, what July. What the hell 18th. is this? Wait, what, <laughs> what, are you, wait, what, what are you looking at? <laughs> what, yeah, what the hell is that? You guys, right? you you guys pull up details about yeah. the game on your laptop? <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> I pulled it up on that little TV over there. Oh, why'd you do that? This customer's like really inch. waiting on us. <laughs> well, that's okay. They're playing on the Game Boy or whatever it is. I yeah. Guess, so they're. I was giving them some history. <laughs> yeah. I can tell that it's a really detailed sheet. <laughs> yeah. But, um, like we were talking before, releases, like. Released on the soup, the DS as a remake. It was ported over to the Switch in two different ways: the uh, 3D All Star Collection, and uh, actually, it's on Nintendo Switch Online. They have the virtual Plus expansion pack. Oh, um, uh, which costs money, a lot of money. What um, is it? The same exact version that's on that? Um, it is actually so interesting. Fact with the 3D All Stars, um, I think that has it's using the um, it's using like Rumble packs and stuff too in it. Oh, Rumble. yeah, it has it's like using the um, the so there's another version too called the, it was like for the IQ player, I guess that was released only in China. The ick, and there's like actually a couple of things that actually changes the ick, yeah, the ick. Oh, sorry, I mean, to, I was, that was a late response. Um, <laughs> but it was using like, like the real actually, it was a real release version for the uh, Super Mario 64 released in Japan a year later, I think, called the uh. What was it called? What did you say before? What was it, it was called the Shindu what? Oh, it was the Shindu uh, Pack Tile version. Okay. Super I'm Mario Shindu Pack huh? Tile version. <laughs> <laughs> you just put it on the screen, like on the bottom, like right here. Put it like right here. Yeah, there you go. Right there. That's, that's it. Re-release. So, putting it button. there. <laughs> oh. I think what this one had was like uh, it had the English voice acting too. What English voice? And it acting. had the Rumble Pack feature, and like actually they had the Rumble Pack feature as well in it. So, um, the, uh, the 3D, the 3D all-star versions also had the Romo pack as well. So they mm. added that too. Okay. Um, so I really do have to ask this, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't mean to offend anybody, mm -hmm. That's but still does the virtual shop version have so long gay Bowser? So long, gay Bowser. Mm. The 3D all-stars one does not. Does the Virtual Console Nintendo Switch Online Plus have so long, Gabe Bowser? That one, I'm not entirely sure. I've never played the Wii, the, the Wii Virtual mm. Console one. Um, so I know for a fact the 3D All-Star ones does not have that either. Like it says, wow. uh, bye bye or something like that, right? Yeah. So bye -bye. for those of you who don't know, in the first boss of the Mario 64, or the first real Bowser boss, when you throw him, Mario says, so long, gay Bowser. No, it, King that, Bowser. No, no, no. <laughs> Here's the thing. If he was saying King Bowser, they wouldn't have changed it. 
So happy Bowser. So he's so he's by happy Bowser. See you later. So long, gay Bowser. I so think, long, gay I Bowser. Was, I guess he was happy because he kept the Princess Peach. I guess that makes sense. Instead of worrying about how Mario is going to be voiced by uh, someone who's not <laughs> Italian, we should worry about Mario's homophobia. I I'll agree. be the first one to say because it. technically, <laughs> if he's calling Bowser Pratt. gay and throwing him around, even though sure he stole Princess Peach, it's not like he's going to do anything. So, They're out to get Cosmos. Another fun fact, I'm going to go off, uh, I guess, off, not really off, but so regarding the voice, the voice actor for Mario, uh, Charles, uh, what was it? Manson. Mignet, min, what? Charles Manson? <laughs> not Charles Manson. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, Charles Mignette or whatever his name is or whatever. <laughs> the voice actor so for Mario? He, this actually yeah, Charles was his Mance. first gig. He actually, <laughs> he actually did a couple of games beforehand too. Huh. He actually did. Okay. So he did, he did like a couple of PC games with Mario. Politically correct games of Mario. Oh, yes. the one, the, the, the ones where it's like Jeez. Mario crosses the street. No, oh, whatever. Those no, ones like, okay, so Let me take your hand, Grandma. <laughs> so like he actually voiced uh, Mar Mario was in like a, some pinball game for Nintendo, or whatever. I was he did a pinball game back then. I did the voice for that pinball game, or whatever. He also did like Mario teaches typings, which I actually had the game as a kid. Mm. I had the Sonic Alphabet one. Whoa! Sonic, you were in a classroom. You had to like murder the alphabet. What wow. about Typing of the Dead? Oh my god! What <laughs> that game? <laughs> yeah, that game's funny. <laughs> Don't come! Don't come! <laughs> Wait, that was actually a thing. Yeah, there was night. There's House of the Dead, and then there's Typing of the Dead, where it's the typing version of House of the Dead. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. It was like, yeah. don't come. Like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, that was what, what some oh, of the what, people say. Don't I what type come. Of oh, God. Yeah, put that out of context. House of the Dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dude, this, so the thing about this game that always fascinates me mm -hmm. is that, to me, this redefined platformers and gaming oh God, yeah. as a whole. Like, this game fucking changed the way games were. Yeah, this was one of the first 3D platformers. Yeah, one of the first few 3D platforms that did it right. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, New console, they had the new, they had the joystick thing, which was like a big thing because it, you know, yep. it was just crazy. And like, um, it was just like when you first play as a kid, like, it was just like, oh my god, like this is like walk wherever you want to go. Like, it's yeah. like it's not linear anymore, and you just like do whatever you want. It's just like it's crazy. Like, it was just like it's like it's just like a whole new experience for players at the time. So, um, then PlayStation came out. Actually, I feel like PlayStation, even at, in, back in the day. Like the Crash Bandicoot didn't control the way Mario controlled. No. Well, like, it was. I mean, that, yeah, it was. Yeah, well, at first, Crash you, Bandicoot, yeah, yeah had the, yeah, uh, the D pad. The yeah. D pad. Then they changed the analog, yep. which yeah. didn't feel as actually as great. But uh, it was also a linear game. It wasn't like as, as open as Mario was at yeah. the time. So a, Mario inspired like the Jack and Daxter, the Ratchet and Clank. Like mm -hmm. a lot of the games, the Bubsy 3Ds. Oh my <laughs> god! And honestly, Mario keeps on doing it now with like nowadays, like. They have like a follow up with Sunshine, Mar Super Mario Sunshine, then Super Mario Galaxies, they had Super Mario 3D World, they had Super Mario Odyssey, which is probably like one of my favorite Mario games. Like, well, 3D Mario games, I guess. But, uh. Mario yeah. squirting around the world. That one's a classic. Oh, yeah. I think I played that. Like, it was a good <laughs> I love it. This is pretty cool. Yeah. On yeah. Virtual Boy shit, dude. Oh, oh yeah, you had the whole oh, big yeah. red yeah. vision. Yeah, where well, you have to, and Mario squirts right on your face. <laughs> and it's crazy. <laughs> it was nuts. Oh shit. So, yeah. so w what is your favorite? Like uh, this game inspired Mario to do like kind of game. What's your favorite like platformer that's after this? Um, Banjo Kazooie. I was literally just gonna ah. say, that. damn it. Because honestly, Banjo Kazooie was, was kind of like, actually Glover. Kind of, Okay. Donkey Kong Country 64. Never played it. Wait, no, Donkey Kong 64? Yeah, Donkey Kong 64. Oh, yeah. Never played that fucking game. I had Glover so instead. So I always <laughs> wanted Glover. I never played you, Glover. You'd probably want Donkey Kong 64. So, well, wait. actually, I needed to fucking rip you back. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You had to rip open your Nintendo, put that little additional yeah. piece Yeah, the expansion in it. pack, that red pack. The only time I got that was when I got Perfect Dark. Because mm. otherwise, you know what you get when you play Perfect Dark without that pack? Goose egg. Multiplayer with Sims. That's pretty much it. Oh, wow. You have wait, to wait, verse wait, the computer the entire time. You don't get the main game. Wait, so it's just you versus the computer? Yeah. Yeah. From what I remember, if I remember correctly, that's all you get when you don't have the expansion pack. Oh, wow. That's ridiculous. That's great. Actually, actually yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, with Banjo-Kazooie, actually, it's funny... Funny, funny enough to think about that, but um, 
I actually never owned Mario 64 as a kid. I actually mm. played at my friend's house all the time instead. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but we I did have Banjo Kazooie, and I loved that game as a kid. So that was definitely a I thought that was definitely a better game than Mario 64, just because like how I don't know. I had a I had more of a blast with that game. Mm. I played the game tons of times. Um, I think the flow of it was better too, honestly. Mm. If you play the game, um, Banjo Kazooie. Like, yeah, and then actually the game holds up holds up better. Than Mario 64 nowadays. If you play Mario 64, how the graphics were, because it, but you gotta okay, that's, that's fair. I thought you thought you meant gameplay for a second. Well, actually, no, both gameplay and Banjo was great too. I actually, like I said, I think Banjo was like really helped and ins- like was inspired by Mario 64, mm. but also I think took it to the next level. I think with how collectathon games were, mm. and you know that was like I, that's actually my personal favorite like Super Nintendo 64 games I had. What about that's Conker's Bid for D? That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good game too. That was uh. That was, was a ship game. monster. That was the game that everyone wanted, but you couldn't get because we were too young. And yeah. M-rated games, they actually ID'd you back then. You know, technically, mm-hmm. Banjo-Kazooie has an X-rated part. It's at the very end of the game when you beat the game, and there's a girl carrying a couple of melons. Yep. Yep. That was the, that was the end for that, yep. Um, Alice, what, did, you, did you give any... Um did you give any games that you thought was like inspired, like good and inspired? I, I don't know. To me, there's just so many. I actually, so the next big game that I had from this was probably like Ratchet and Clank on the PS2. Mm. Oh yeah, I think like games that gave me this feeling of like, wow, this is fucking mind blowing. Mm-hmm. At the time, first was Mario 64, which even when I first got it, like me and Tony were going nuts over it. We, we went, like, we need this game. We need to play this game. It's all over the place. The ads were so good for it. I gotta sell all my regular <laughs> Nintendo games to get this one game. Yeah, just like <laughs> it did for Spider-Man. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then we literally, that was the game we played nonstop mm-hmm. until, like, you know, Banjo-Kazooie, mm-hmm. the Donkey Kong 64. Mm-hmm. But the next big game that had that impact was, like, Ratchet and Clank. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. That was, that was a... I mean, honestly, even to this day, Ratchet Clank is like a really, it holds up. And just playing the whole series is just like a, it's just a fun experience. And yeah, when you get like the fucking jet boots and like the mm-hmm. magnet, bro, every t- everything you get in that game, it's like they took the Mario formula of jumping platform going around and they added like crazy fucking guns and crazy mm-hmm. abilities. Jack and, and Daxter was another one too. Oh, uh, I fucking loved that. That game was like, you know how many it? times I've beaten Jack and Daxter the first one, dude? The first one, yeah. The second one, I actually never, I still never finished. It's crazy. Oh! I don't know. I just I, I, the first one I played all the time. It was it was a good game, but those games definitely were inspired by Mario sixty four. So yeah, big time. Um, big a lot time. of games were inspired. Like I guess Nintendo keeps doing that all the time. Um, I think crazy. one of our most recent games that we played though is probably our favorite platformer, Croc. Yeah, <laughs> it was our favorite. <laughs> yeah, man, Yoshi awesome. for mm-hmm. the for the yeah. PS one. Right, which is weird that they made like a Yoshi game. It was definitely supposed to be Yoshi, and then Nintendo was like, yeah. nah. We don't accept third parties yet. Yeah. So they're, they're like, like oh. okay, I guess PlayStation. I'm literally going to have to look that up. I can't see that not being the case. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you guys remember from this game? Like, anything that, like, stood out or, like... I remember... Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 I used to love that. that. Oh, oh, yeah. That I, also, <laughs> I also used to love shell surfing. Oh. Green shell surfing was sick. That was another thing too. Actually, another thing like we we didn't talk about this, the music in this game was like yeah iconic. Just another, it was yeah you remember like all the the sound the the music from the game. It's just like like yeah. if someone plays like a soundtrack from the game, like you know oh it's from Mario sixty four. No, I remember all the levels that this <laughs> song's played mm-hmm. with. Like, yeah, yeah I was just like theme or e- like even oh, the the penguin sound in the ice cre- in <laughs> the ice level. Wow. Like, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It. it Everything in that game, the the sound effects, the music, the it's yeah. iconic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the music was a great thing about the game. Um, it was pretty solid for the most part, you know. I was, you know, it, mm-hmm. it, it, Nintendo was a good job with the music for the most part, I guess. We oh want to start uh, wrapping up and wrapping up. Yeah. I guess the person's been waiting long enough. Sorry, I mean, like, well, he's sleeping. <laughs> Sorry, he's sleeping. Sorry, patient customer. Oh. I get off. My million dollars of what? I don't know. I mean, I'm all for it. I mean, I have a lot of fond memories. I think that's well, worth I guess, just I guess, as much well, of memories. How much did this game <laughs> actually Not worth? a mil. <laughs> not a million. He said a million dollars. I want a million dollars. Whoa. Okay, hold on. How much you guys think this game is actually worth? In, in your opinion, if you had a, if you had to value it yourself. Hmm. I would say right now, I would pay probably $80 if it was like mint condition. 
Jeez. Oh, mint condition. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if I was paying for a regular game, I would probably pay like maybe thirty, thirty-five dollars maybe for it, maybe mm-hmm. to this day. Yeah. When you say mint condition, do you mean like the game untouched, not Un- breathed on, not even open? unblown? Yeah. So not in, even in open. box. Yeah. So, if it was a seal game, judging by the market, how it is was <laughs> by certain companies, Wada, which is don't want to go over them. They're they're jerks. Um, mm-hmm. I guess I value the game as like um, if for like for a seal game would probably be worth. No, this is according, <laughs> this is according to eBay. I'm gonna go by eBay's prices. eBay? If if, yeah. if if people did try to sell it now, for a seal copy would probably be. Quarter of a million dollars, maybe. Quarter of a million dollars. This is, people, this is what people price it as. This is not what I price it. If it's well, a, so I feel like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars if it's like mint condition and signed by the voice actor of Mario. Oh my God, relax. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what what would be your trading value? What would be the most that you'd be willing to pay someone to for this kind of this copy over here? Twenty bucks. What? Give me twenty dollars for $30 that. Thirty dollars is my 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 trading value for it. So 2030. That one's got it looks like chocolate pudding caked into the <laughs> Yeah. Give it's it a for eating chocolate pudding. Is that chocolate pudding? <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> Jesus. Hot tip, it's not chocolate pudding. Yeah. It's, what I, were you doing with this? I would might Nutella? Use like that. I would pay if I really wanted to play the game, like 35 bucks. I'd be like, okay. O- only because like it, that just to get the classic feel of playing it on an N sixty four. If you're playing N sixty four, yes, I yeah. agree. If you're playing, if you're playing now, if you're playing on the Switch, or whatever, five bucks maybe. I would play. I would pay. Yeah, for. like I maybe it doesn't I, hold up that well. It doesn't like. You know. I would probably pay like fifteen bucks digitally to. to, to yeah, play. yeah. That's probably like yeah. Mm-hmm. But like if you play, if you want to play the the exact, you want to play the the, the experience of it on the N sixty four, thirty five maybe. I would price it as I would pay for the most. All right, so let's. Uh, oh, we had to look on the computer, I guess. Market value. On market here. value. What do we got? So, hey, that uh, one's getting twenty dollars. Yeah, here it's listed for twenty-one. Very good. So that that and oh, mm. it's, it here it's with another game. What for twenty-two? What? So I guess that kind of fucks buy up one. the value. Let's buy one though. I'll buy one. Yeah, so you Mario sixty-four. That one and uh, the other one. So about twenty-two. So best thing to do is two bucks. Two dollars. Probably give you about two. Yeah, two bucks. I think that's fair, right? You buy some oh, pack of cigars with that, maybe. See how much it is uh, sealed. In honor of today, sealed. two dollars and twenty-two cents. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's just hand them Holy the money. Holy shit! I think I'm, I think we'll just list it on eBay. Let's let's do. Uh, let's do just, you have the box for this game? Uh, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Matthew's friend. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Holy wow. crap! Wow. Way off. And it comes in the plastic box. Oh, nine point two though by water. Okay, that that's yeah nine point two. So I guess another Eight thing, if you want, if you want to go by this. So apparently, I forgot. This is a long time. It was like probably a year ago, or maybe actually it was this year, probably earlier. No, actually, no. Sorry, last year. Uh, I think water had like a nine point eight, and they sold that sealed one for like, oof. A million, maybe was it five hundred thousand or I think it was a million. I have to look that 500, up. Five hundred thousand dollars for a zero point six. No, well, it was difference. Like the way how it was rated too, like, but you know my water grades and they've been on a flack recently for a lot of stuff. So I yeah. can't really, you can't really go by the prices anymore. But um, this is what they were, they this is what they sold it for apparently. So um, mm. guys, uh, I have a suggestion. Yo, yeah, I say we close this door early. Yeah, mm. we. Pretend that this is a mint version. Clean up the cartridge a little bit. I'll I'll start like drawing a box that looks yeah. like that. We just can't three we can we can't three D print it. Just three D print the box. Yeah, and then we'll just sell it to Logan Paul. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, we don't put the game inside. Yeah. Oh yeah. We should keep the game too. We I put agree. a little picture, picture of his with face. Cards, and maybe we'll so. throw some GI Joe cards in the box. Yeah, or that's something. good. <laughs> <laughs> or GI Joe, GI Joe action figure. Yeah, yeah. we'll throw in a GI Joe. Mm-hmm. All right, as long as he doesn't see this, I think we're good. All right, sweet. Shit. Okay, we gotta do it before this. Be- yeah. yeah. Premiere this before he beats up Rey Mysterio again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, thank you guys from the back of the store. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for tuning in.
Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching. Yeah, th- thank you so much for watching. If you really like this game, uh, if you really like not the game, oh if my god! If you like this game, like this video, give this video a thumb up or something. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, touch that bell, comment, comment say what we're doing wrong, touch make, make, make fun of me or bad or make fun of all yeah. of us. I don't care. Make, make fun, fun of, me of me my um, shots. Exactly. Um, you know, follow more to the content and. Oh, um, yeah. This has been the Nostalgia Critiques. I'm Matt. Um, <laughs> and I'm Mark. I'm and I'm Alex. lactating. <laughs> Got him. We'll see you later. Bye.